Hi guys, I just wanted to share that I'm getting a few mails um, come through. I mean, in the UK especially, it's, uh, the air temperatures can be colder than the water temperature at the moment. Um, and just to bear that in mind when you're doing your cold dip, like just say if you're doing two minute cold dip, you might lose the dexterity of your hands. You might, when you've done your two minutes, if that's enough, I need to get out now and you rush to get out. Do not rush to get out. It's all part of the process because that's when uh, accidents can happen or you might feel... Uh, you invite the cold more, you lose your focus, and then you might panic into going, oh my God, I can't feel my hands, it's, you know, and everything like that. Or I've got bruises on my, on my legs coming out or cuts from the eyes. And you, and you see that and you, it might shake you or unbalance you. It is all part of the process. There's a beautiful film that um, I filmed yesterday, I'll show you uh, in this vlog, that I came out really slowly. There was no rush for me to get out. I wasn't uncomfortable in the water. And it was just so beautiful to see moving the ice sheets away for me to get out. I didn't want to cut myself um, because I've done that in the past. So I know what it's like. So I took my time coming out. There was there was no, I was comfortable in the head, comfortable in my body. Um, yes, I was starting to lose the feeling in my hands, but there were, I felt that before and they come back to me. So when I'm out uh, and the air temperature was colder, I just went straight into my warm up exercises. I also, did visualization and um, uh, brown fat activation or you can do the uh, breath of fire there's so many different ways to warm up naturally and give your body that chance so two minutes in the water might be a 20 minute warm-up exercise and that's cool because that doesn't happen very often and i find stuff like that really really wonderful and beautiful well i just thought i'd share that i hope you found this useful and now i'm going to go and put it And just then the bird flew off. I was wondering if I would get to sit in an ice bath with the bird next to me just looking at me. Um, there was another thing I wanted to share as well. Like quite a few people have messaged me as well to say, why have I not got the pickaxe and got the, the shots that a lot of open water swimmers have? I genuinely love nature and I love to be symbiotic to nature and be a part of nature. So if I can't get in through my, my hands or using a, a stone that's nearby, then I just won't go in the water. Um, I feel that it's not inviting me to go in. I go because I enjoy it. I don't go because I need to swim per se or I'm training for an ice mile or anything like that I just enjoy what's presented to me at that time and see how I feel so for that reason I don't carry a pickaxe or any hammers or anything like that if I can find something natural to break the ice around me then I will and if not then maybe I'll sit on the ice instead of going in for a dip or a swim <laughs> I never time my dips, I never think they're really important to me to know how long I've stayed in the water. I go on feeling, um, but this time I did stay in quite a while, there was no sort of major rush of water around me, so um, I was able just to take in the peace and tranquility of uh, Dermot water. I've decided to um, speed up this video as I stayed there for quite some time. So it was really nice to connect with my breath. Um, enjoy the nature around me and unite my mind, body and soul.
As mentioned before, there's no rush for me to get out. I just actually like the slow process of uh, moving out safely. You never know with nature. So it's probably the most extreme safest thing I'll ever do is cold water swimming or dipping.